that's the hive. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah, just serious. the hive. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you returned home to do this film, right? Or nearby? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, in the same neighborhood that we were born into. I mean, the house we shot in was literally a few blocks away from the house that we were born into. Um, and that that the main reason we did that is we believe in in like the summer camp model of filmmaking where everyone goes away and we live and breathe this thing for you know. In the case of our independent films, is really only a matter of like three or four weeks. Um, so that's something that we love, and, and in general, just the supportive nature of being in a in a in a, an environment that is excited about a film coming there and being shot, as opposed to LA, where you're kind of like a thorn in someone's side when you show up with with you know a camera. Um, so a thorn that they hope to make a lot of money. A thorn sure. that they will, yeah, that they will charge you twenty thousand dollars to pull out. Um, Gonna rape that thorn. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Some Get some. Um, so yeah, but you know, our parents lived there. We we slept at our parents' house. Um, a lot of our crew slept at our parents' house. You know, we we slept in the house that we shot in, and you know, yeah. you know, used one of our friends' houses there, and you know, so it it's all about you know um, by any means necessary. And like what Mark was talking about, the economy of scale of of okay, well, you know, this is kind of a big film that we're trying to make independently, so we need to work every angle to our advantage and, and make it as comfortable and as cheap as possible. So when you went back to there to shoot, mm -hmm. what type of sort of epiphanies did you have? Because I'm sure growing up, going to high school, you had your own ideas of what success would look like as mm -hmm. a 30 some year old and then you're coming back there. Was it scary? Was it exhilarating? I mean, you're kind of no, it was pretty great coming to New Orleans because it's just a huge support system. I mean, our parents and they're you know, there to help cook meals for us and Steve this is our lead actor's mom was the head caterer on the movie because she used to run this fantastic Greek restaurant and you know we were shooting in the arcade where Jay and I used to play you know air hockey against each other 20 years earlier you know so it feels much more like um, a welcoming and a, and a homecoming and I, I didn't personally have any trepidation about going back to that that just felt like we need this support to make you know, what is essentially the DNA of a huge budget sports comedy on a micro budget scale. And, um, and I like the combination of those two elements. I think that's what makes the movie special, but you know, we needed a special support system to pull it off.